Well, fellas, it's once again time for the holiday season. That's why I'm wearing this festive hat and sitting by this very real fireplace. So to celebrate the holidays, today I'm going to be covering some Christmas-related topics. So why don't you fellas sit by the fireplace with me while I talk about animatronics that are loosely related to Christmas. Uh, despite having a great name, Randy in fact sucks. First up is the Santa animatronic from Showbiz Pizza, but before I actually start talking about Santa, I feel like I should probably talk about Uncle Clunk first. Uncle Clunk was a guest character at Showbiz, which means that in some locations he replaced Rolf and Earl and would reside on their stage. Clunk's character was meant to be a comedian of sorts, and his show mostly consisted of him making and receiving calls. During said calls, he would make a ton of pretty unfunny jokes and laugh at more or less anything. He's basically the animatronic version of Gax. I guess I'm too smart for the house. <laughs> What'd you expect, Johnny Carson? <laughs> Note to self, don't drink tap water at Jerry Garcia's. Despite his show, Clunk was a pretty impressive animatronic with 32 different movements, and a lot of them were used frequently too, from his ears wiggling when he tells a joke to his foot seemingly moving at random intervals. It always seemed like Clunk was very energetic. All this and more makes it kind of a shame that I don't really like Clunk all that much. Why'd they have to use such a cool animatronic to create such a so-so character? I mean, his show is okay, but a lot of the jokes just missed. And when it comes to how Clunk actually looks, I feel like a lot of things went terribly wrong. I would imagine when they were making Clunk, they were trying to make a sort of funny looking goofball, right? But instead, we were left with whatever that thing is. I mean, just look at that nefarious grin. He knows what he did. Now, in all fairness, Clunk looking the way he does makes him far more interesting to me than if he was just a more tame or normal looking animatronic. But, when it comes down to it, I can imagine more kids were scared by the Uncle Clunk abomination than entertained. Luckily for Clunk, he got a second chance. Santa to your favorite Christmas songs. Laugh with Santa as he calls his chief elf Norman at the North Pole. It's Santa Claus on stage at Showbiz. At Showbiz, we make pizza good and we make pizza fun. Santa was Uncle Clunk the entire time. Due to Santa being a retrofit of Clunk, obviously Clunk was replaced by Santa and put on Rolf and Earl's old stage. Another cool thing about Santa secretly being Clunk was that he still had the ability to pick up phones, which was a pretty big part of his show. Santa would call his head elf Norman to ask how things were back at the North Pole, and then disaster would ensue. Other parts of the show included Santa singing Christmas songs with the Rock of Fire explosion and Santa telling everyone what it was like to deliver presents every year. When it comes to the actual Santa retrofit, while it's not perfect, it looks far better than Clunk did. Overall, I just think the Santa show was done better than the Clunk one. I really don't have much more to say about it other than that. But before I get off the topic of Santa animatronics, I would like to make a sort of honorable mention to the other Santa animatronic from Creative Engineering, who was in the Santa Claus review. I do plan to talk about the Santa Claus review at some point in the future, but for now, that's gonna have to wait. I would also like to make a dishonorable mention to Uncle Pappy, who was just clunk after concept unification. I never want to see this guy again. To finish this video off, I'll be looking at the different animatronics Christmas costumes from an assortment of Chuck E. Cheese locations, and I'll be ranking them on a scale of 1 to 5, depending on how interesting and good they look. I'm pretty sure that some of these were official, some of these were just bought from the local dollar store, and some of these were even just made by employees that had way too much free time. But, either way, let's begin. This one's pretty simple, but it gets the job done. Easily the best part about it is the Rudolph Jasper. I think that's awesome. Other than that, nothing too interesting to see here, so I'm just gonna give this one a 3 out of 5. Not much really stands out here, but it does all look generally good. I'm gonna go with an entirely neutral stance of a 2.5 out of 5, although I do really like that they gave the sign a hat. Alright, I really like this one. This is the kind of thing that made me want to talk about this stuff in the first place. Helen is a gingerbread man and Munch is a snowman. What more could you want? Sure, it's not necessarily the highest quality per se, but it's going above and beyond what I can imagine they were asked to do. 
Sure, it may look pretty jank, but I think it gives it more character. Easy, 4 out of 5. Okay, so this one may not seem too interesting at face value, but hear me out with this one. So these costumes may not appear to be all that special on their own, although they do look pretty good for what it's worth. The cool thing about this one is that we get to see both Pizza Cam and Munch Jr. costumes. Pizza Cam has a bow on his head and a snowflake in his lens, and Munch Jr. has a Santa hat and a beard. I'm gonna give this one a 3.5 out of 5 because while the costumes themselves aren't really anything to write home about, it's cool seeing what Christmas Pizza Cam and Munch Jr. look like. Overall, there's a lot of nice looking costumes here, but I'm mostly just happy to see another Pizza Cam. I like this one a lot better than the other one. I'm giving this one a 3.9 out of 5, and just so it's clear, at least half of those points were from Pizza Cam. Well, that's all I have for today. I'm glad I was able to get another video out before the end of December. That was kind of my goal, and I guess I achieved it. Going into 2022, I plan to upload more than I have previously. Nothing like three times a month or anything, but I am trying to at least get one video per month, if not two. Anyways, fellas, I'm going to go play some Dark Souls and enjoy my Christmas break.